Yesterday, we played some video of some migrants at a city council meeting in New York City, and it seemed as if they were complaining about some things, is what it came across, at least these short clips. So Vicky Palladino, one of the city council members, takes to the mic and says this. I have to ask you, what motivated you to come here thinking the streets are paved with gold? They're not. I said, oh, we got to talk with her. And here she is representing a portion of Queens, New York. Miss Palladino, how are you today? Good morning. I'm fine. How are you? It's great to talk to you. Thanks for uh, yeah. for being here and giving us some insight here and for being a good conservative voice on the New York City Council. Um, what, <laughs> what, what was this committee hearing about? Who, who were these people and, and what, what happened here? It was, okay, it, let me give you a quick synopsis. synopsis. It was a joint committee hearing, immigration and hospitals. Uh, two committees come together, uh, whereas uh, 1,000 or more African migrants uh, came, illegal immigrants came, uh, and we were going to listen to their testimony. And their testimony was basically, uh, you played a short clip, and uh, it was, I never heard a bunch of whining, crying. These are people making demands on New York in, in, in the most un, unrealistic manner. We have jumped off a cliff here. When we listen to people demand, demand uh, that we are racist. First of all, let me, let me give you, we are racist. They hate us. Uh, why did you bother coming here? They don't like the food. Uh, they say that offering them tampons, this is how ridiculous it got, from tampons to food that we are racist because Africans do not use tampons. How dare you? This is how bold they were. Uh, the food. We don't eat this food. We need, we must have. Everything was, we must have. And I, I just said, hey, look, you know, you came here illegally. You're unhappy here. What do you, what do you want? How much more do you want? When is enough enough? This is really uh, totally unrealistic for our city. It's been unrealistic since it started a year and some months ago. Um, and now to listen to a group of people who speak 3,000 different languages demand New York fit their needs, cut them out special. We're cutting everybody out special. You know, we got them on a $1,500 a month uh, debit card. Why? Because they don't like the food. I had a respite center here in my district. Uh, I'm District 19, by the way, Northeast Queens. And um, we saw garbage bags filled, filled with the food that they are given, three squares a day, plus snacks, constantly all day long. Uh, some of them get their mopeds, but here's the cop. Here's the, here's the real. Here's the real screw. Is when they were at this respite center and people who lived there, very residential area, were getting their doorbells rung at two in the morning, and it was Uber Eats. They thought somebody from that house called. When in reality, it was the respite center that called. But this Thursday was out of control, mm. and I was cut off again. And uh, one of my colleagues who went after me called me a xenophobe. Wow. And I've had it. And I said, I object to that. I object to that. So rather than the one of the chairs of either of those two committees tell her, you're out of line, they tell me, councilwoman, councilwoman, hey, enough is enough. You could say whatever you want. And if we, in the proper tone, which I did use, though I may not sound it now, <laughs> I did use the proper, <laughs> the proper tone, and um, I articulated, you know, a certain amount of sympathy for these mm -hmm. people, uh, because you have to. I mean, they, they, it's really sad. Um, and then when they disregard you and call you a racist and a xenophobe, and they hate New York and all this, all that we've been giving them. Give me a break. Mm, I've had amazing. it. Everybody's <laughs> had it. We're done. Okay.
Really? Uh, so you, you uh, one thing I wanted to clarify that these were illegal immigrants who were in front of this illegal. committee. Okay, so that, that's an important yeah. distinction, of course. Um, so we played the clip of them complaining about the food. And they said when they break yeah. their fast after Ramadan, the food is no good. So yeah. if we got, and, and one reason I want to have you on too is because it, it totally, I, it very well could have been that you came on and you're like, no, 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 you guys are all blowing this out of proportion. Um, that was only a couple clips. It was actually a really wonderful time or whatever. I don't, or, and like that clip, I could, I gave a benefit of the doubt. I was like, maybe the food is spoiled by the time it gets nighttime after they break their fast for Ramadan. Not that it's not up to the culinary standards of, of these migrants' demands. You're saying, no, it's more that it's just they don't like it. Oh, so they're liking, yes. We don't like the food. I mean, they even said it. Uh, it was plain as day. Uh, it, it, if you play this awful hearing that lasted for six hours, wow. I stayed, yeah, six hours. We had to listen to people moan and groan and complain I stayed for just the first two and a half hours. And then I said my piece, but I won't be mistreated <sighs> by my colleagues. I will not be mistreated by my colleagues and called a xenophobe simply because I said New York cannot handle what you, it is that you need. Uh, and I don't know what you expected when you came here because your demands are just off the charts. And we've listened to many different uh, groups of migrants, okay, over the last year. We've had hearings for everybody, open hearings. And this was by far the most demanding, arrogant, uh, forceful hearing. It was horrible. I, I wow. said demands are totally unrealistic, absolutely you, unrealistic. So these so. other committee hearings you've had, have they been – People from different countries or different regions of the world? Was it? Yeah, was different, it, well, mostly different countries. Uh, you know, it's mostly been uh, South American, you know, and uh, those folks. Uh, interesting. And, and so again, I wonder, and I wonder again, if there's something yeah. culturally different about the African migrants, illegal aliens that are coming over, than perhaps Latin American illegal aliens. Well, I, you know, I can say that uh, I don't. See, it's in the tone of their voices. It is in their verbiage, uh, whereas they they were just outright demanding uh, on Thursday. The other ones maybe were a little bit more polite in their verbiage, uh, grateful to be here. Uh, you hear that, you know, but when you hear what I heard on Thursday, you just want to tell them, and I did. <laughs> if you play more of the clip, <laughs> I, and this is when they really, this is when they really cut me off. Is when I said, "You are here illegally. You are here illegally," and uh, they didn't like that. And that's when one of the chairman, uh, chairwoman, cut me off, wow. uh, and she said, "Council member, do you have a question? Council member, do you have a question?" I said, "Yes, I asked it, and I do have more. It was about the vetting, which they lied." Then she started to spew one of the people who answered one of my questions on the panel there. Uh, she, she started to spew cop-hating rhetoric. Come if on. we wouldn't pay our police officers so much. Are you kidding me? Really? You are here illegally. You're here illegally. And you're telling us that you don't like our police. Okay? They took away your mopeds and your scooters. Seriously? Are they licensed? Are they insured? Okay, or are they just something that you're going scooting around and uh, doing Uber Eats or whatever it is you do illegally? Illegally. Let's understand this. This is all done illegally. And as soon as you say that word illegal, bam, you get crushed. Yeah. It's like wow. you're not allowed to say that. So, I, want, I, I know, just want to drive this home. I want to drive this home. So you're telling me a illegal alien, from in this case from Africa, was complaining to the New York City Council that the people of New York pay their police too much money. That is correct. Yes. You waste your money. When you could be taking care of us, you waste mm. your money on funding the police. And what is it that you have? She said, those little robots. I, I just could Oh, my word. I, I, I wow. really kept my cool. I was so proud of myself uh, <laughs> because you just could not believe <laughs> the ridiculousness of this whole thing. But they were dead serious. And what was worse, 
everybody out there is that your city council, if you live in these five boroughs, was sympathetic to this. And they want to meet their needs. So understand, we are dealing with a a body of people in this city council who actually believe all of this and think all of this is okay. I, I wanted to ask on the comments that I pardon me. No, I was just I wanted to ask you what the other city council members are saying and doing and thinking about this. It's really it's really quite upsetting because we have fifty one, and out of fifty one city council, you have nine of us nine. That's it, nine uh, of us who feel differently than they do. Wow. Okay, the first thing we say is close the border. The second thing we say is because of the rise in crime, bring back ICE. Uh, The other thing we say is pull the sanctuary city, sanctuary state status for a short period of time. Declare the city a state of emergency. Exercise some executive powers here so that we can get this under control. The buses keep coming. And let's remember this. They're not just coming by bus anymore. They're coming by plane. Biden's got this whole thing going on where he's dropping uh, migrants, illegals off in different parts of these uh, of different parts of this country by airplane. So we are no longer being able to keep track. So when this woman is telling me she was vetted, no, you were not. You are a lot. You're lying. You are lying. I, and they cut me off. I could not. You know, I was calm. I wasn't like this. I was calm. And I just, I took it. And then when she called, when the colleague that followed me called me a xenophobe, I said, I take objection with that. I take objection with that. And I was furious. That's when I was furious. Because they could say whatever they want. My colleagues could call us xenophobes, racist, anything they like, and they get away with it. 